Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I am here today to discuss with you the types of herpes simplex virus infection. So my main emphasis will be on those two types of viruses, herpes simplex virus in one and two. And uh, I will not discuss with you uh, the topic of herpes uh, in detail because there is already a video on this topic you can go in the description of this video and check the link the main purpose of uh, this presentation is to understand what is the main difference between these two types of the viruses so let us talk first of all about herpes simplex virus one basically Herpes simplex virus infection 1 causes the problem, complications, signs and symptoms in the uh, area above the waist. Above the waist of the patient, whatever herpetic infection is caused, that is basically caused by herpes simplex virus infection 1. And below the waist, like uh, if we come across herpes genitalis and neonatal encephalitis, etc. I will discuss with you uh, in detail. So those problems are caused by herpes simplex virus uh, 2. So like any uh, other virus, this HSV virus also contains the basic components like lipid envelope. It contains the envelope proteins, the tagument, the nucleocapsid and DNA inside and uh, and at the different side of this virus we have regulation side okay capsid assembly envelope protein DNA replication sites so we are not uh, discussing the genomic study of this virus in detail basically the problem caused by this virus are important for us to understand as a gynecologist so, uh, as I have said before, that uh, HSV1 causes the problem above the waist. So, what sort of uh, uh, complications result from this sort of infection? Being HSV1 causes the, first of all, the, uh, the herpes labialis. It is basically located in the orolabial region. That is why it causes problems above the waist. It primarily occurs in adults. Primarily, it exists in adults and it causes acute gingivostomatitis. You can see this is the acute gingivostomatitis, a sort of infection in the gums uh, that is caused by HSV-1 virus. It also causes the recurrent herpes labialis. It causes keratoconjunctivitis in the eyes or keratitis and it also causes encephalitis so all the problems are about the waist hsv1 uh, virus infection is basically now the most common cause of genital herpes in uk now uh, let us talk something about um, hsv2 that is located in the genital area basically Okay, HSV1 located in orolabial region, HSV2 located in the genital region. HSV2 causes herpes genitalis. Okay, genital herpes um, means there are painful sores in the genital area. Okay, uh, we have other complications as a result of HSV2 and those include neonatal encephalitis and other form of neonatal herpes as well. Okay, HSV2 also causes aseptic meningitis and it is also a very important point to note that humans are the natural host for both. One thing I would like to tell you about genital herpes is that in UK, HSV1 is now considered to be the most common cause of genital herpes in UK. Historically, HSV2 was um, considered to be responsible for HSV2 in UK. Uh, means responsible for uh, genital herpes. HSV2 was um, uh, considered to be responsible for genital herpes in UK, but now HSV1 is considered to be the most common cause of genital herpes in UK. And HSV2 is 
the likely cause of recurrent anogenital symptoms okay so that was uh, some description of the herpes simplex virus types of herpes simplex virus infection thank you so much for your kind listening allah hafiz